Hey, Greens. What are you up to? Mm, big decision to make, that's all. Well, can I help? I bought these today. And I can't decide which one do you like better. I don't know. Let me have a look. I like this one. This one will go well with my little, my little knickers. Yes, you know, knickers. About this one. I don't know. I think this one will show off my adorable backside. What mm -hmm. do you think? Mm-hmm. Either way, we're going to need a bigger size. You don't need to wear any of these. I like your El Natural, baby. All you have to do is look at me and those big brown eyes. Mm -hmm. And you make me melt. Seriously. Seriously. If you had to choose. Come on. I don't know. I like this one. The brown lace. You do? But you're not going to be wearing it long. It's coming off fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, who'd be calling me? Oh, dear. Hello? What? Tell me this is some kind of sick joke. Well, how the hell did it happen? No, 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 don't do anything. What is it? Where are you right now? 2004? <laughs> 2008? Somewhere in between? I, uh... I'm not exactly sure, but I, um... I, I do have this memory, uh... Of us, like, you know, in a barn or... A stable or something? Does that make any sense? Does that mean anything to you? Did, like, did we take riding lessons or anything? Um, well, um, it's where we first made love. The stables. At Wildwind. War is starting to come back to you, isn't it? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. Yeah, but I can tell you, being here with you alone like this, I know it just... It feels right. I know that it's right. <laughs> doing drop it get an emergency babysitter and meet me over at fusion now emma's at a sleepover what's wrong let's just say mr Domus couldn't have predicted something this ugly but whatever you do don't call kendall i don't want to freak her out any more than she already is after erica's little trip up river today oh greenly what could possibly be that bad holy you need to try and get some sleep can't stop thinking about her. I know she's going to be fine. She's too proud and too stubborn to let anything happen to her. She knows what she's facing, and now we do too, so let's just worry about it, okay? Why can we call to make sure she's all right? When the phone company opens in the morning, call. <laughs> I can understand. I can't. I can't get that image out of my head. My mother being handcuffed to this obnoxious woman. I mean, God knows how my mother will survive.
Simon. Are you okay? You? Uh-huh. You stupid idiots! You could have killed us! The animal said hello for you! They're not moving. Oh, my God. Oh. Do you think they're dead? I don't know. Oh. Move. Why? What are you doing? What are you trying to do? Unlock our door. Oh. Oh, got it. Are they alive? They're breathing. Oh, thank God. Hold this. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm calling for help. They're not moving. They need help. We what need we help. need to do is get out of here before someone knows what went down. And as far as help, I got all the help I need. I got Erica Kane. Out of 100,000 units shipped, 10% were mislabeled like this. Fusion's Harm perfume is going to hit store shelves in the morning. <sighs> you know what? Maybe it's not such a bad name. Maybe people won't notice. Okay, maybe I should shut up. 10,000 bottles. <laughs> and not just out of one distribution center either. They've gone all over the country. Hundreds of retailers are going to be opening cases of these tomorrow. Some will say charm, others will say this. How could they forget the C? I mean, didn't somebody notice? No, not until it was too late. What, did they think we were making harm bracelets? Ugh. Well, you got a hell of a lawsuit against the manufacturer. Well, sure, we can sue and recoup costs to date, but how do you quantify the loss of a major launch like this? Mm, a charm is like a potential lifelong moneymaker, especially since it coincides with Kendall's successful book sales. Instead, this product is going to be an instant, industry-wide joke. I mean, I can just hear the late-night comedians now. <laughs> Rumor has it, Fusion's following up its latest flop with the sweet-smelling eau de death. We are so screwed. This is going to kill Kendall, as if she hasn't been through enough already. Okay, okay, then we need to stop this tonight. We need to call all the stores and all the managers and have them check the labels before they stock the shelves. There's too many. And there are bound to be ones that are missed. I mean, none of these retailers are going to want to take the time and expense to sift through all of their stock. And we just can't do it. I, I... You, you, could, you could always just sort of sweeten the deal for the, for the stores to find them. Right, right. You're like a cash reward for all the bottles that they catch in return. Yeah, and I bet you, you, could, you could hit the manufacturer up for the cost of that. Yeah, because, you know, you don't have a lawsuit. Okay, okay, so let's, let's call the manufacturers and get numbers of all of the retailers and, and, and their emergency numbers, and, I mean, it's worth a shot, I guess, right? I mean, we have like a million phone calls to make in the next few hours. Oh, I tried, babe, and Amanda, and they're not answering their phones. I uh, hope. Yeah, yeah, me too. Oh, thanks, guys. You know, if we could do this by morning, this might just work. And then Kendall won't have to worry about a thing. Okay. Oh, do that. It's not fair. Sorry. It's not, though. I mean, my mother does not deserve to go through something like this. She's too good of a person. I mean, all right. I know she's not perfect, but look at all the stuff that she did for the Heart Health Month and everything that she's done for charity. She doesn't deserve to be humiliated and, and caged up because of one simple mistake in judgment that she made over a stupid investment. You're right. It's not fair. But she knows what she's dealing with, and, and we should stop thinking about it. Hmm? I can't. How can I do that? My mother, Erica Kane, being hauled off in handcuffs, that's not really a, an image that's, you know, easy to erase from my brain. And I'm really worried about what she's going to face next. Who knows what's going to happen? All right, all right. Well, think about six months from now when she's released from prison and she's back at her house. She's playing Spike and Ian. She's annoying me with stories from prison things that you went through. He's probably going to write a book about it. It can be on a coffee table next to yours. It'll be very nice. Do you know what she spent the last few days doing? She gave away her entire new wardrobe to charity. 
Yeah. Like 20 pairs of shoes and the hundreds, probably, of, of dresses and gowns. She even told me and Binks that she would take us shopping when she gets out. Zach, I used to hate my mother. And now I can't live without her. I already miss her. <laughs> 